All right, welcome back, everyone. Hope everybody's been having a good day. We're going to start off with a uh, looking westbound at sunrise. And as you can see right up there, we're uh, circling a big round object that's illuminating from the sun behind us. As you can see, it's moving in one fashion all by itself, way above and beyond our clouds. And you can see our clouds here. And you can see how blurry it is and how far away it really is. I mean, it's pretty obvious. At least it is me. I mean, what, why else would something up there, way up there behind our clouds, be reflecting light and moving away in one big, large planet-looking planet? -looking planet. <laughs> All right, here's another morning shot, looking the right way this time. As you can see, all up in here, the clouds will be in the shade. I mean, you can see how the sun's coming down and bending under this area of sky. See how it's never illuminating? And you saw the flare there for a second, but it disappeared pretty quick. And look at all that darkness. And then right here is what we got going on over here. You can see the light's going to be coming down and under. And this area will see how the ring of light is going around the bottom or the side of that. Now all of these clouds are no longer illuminating whatsoever. If the sun was that high, those would be illuminated. But as you can see, the light is pushing all the way down and under. It just now starting to let go and, and look even with the sun going up and out of the frame we're still having a dark shaded area where <laughs> obviously this should not be shaded the sun is right there you see the clouds still rolling off out there and getting in the uh getting in the way that's pretty cool right there i mean look at that you can see that's what the sun is coming up from behind in the mornings. And while this all looks like really dark cloud, I mean, as soon as the sun comes up, it turns into nothing. See, it's all gone. Or is it? <laughs> you can see the, how the light's bending and breaking as the sun goes up. Now it's kind of stalled out right here. The light will get up all the way to the top. And as you can see, none of the clouds over here are receiving any light. And the light is just hanging out. Now, see the how the light's rounding up something? It's also doing that as it goes up. See, it went up behind something. The light was at the bottom longer. And then as it finally got up over the top of the uh, planet, it just whoop, right on up. See how the light gets rounder as it goes around that area? See, as it goes up, the light starts to spread out. And then just, see? You can tell it's going around something. It's bending. See where it's bending completely. All that over there is still not getting any light. Now that the sun is going out of the frame, it wasn't going to get any more light. <laughs> All right, sun's coming up off screen to the right. And look at this great big area already blocking light. See how it's coming up, but it's blocking light. That is just wild. <laughs> Look how dark it is back in there. You know, sunshine getting back there. Everything's green lately. 
as one of the bigger planets comes rolling in on the right hand side of the sun really pushing a lot of that green and uh, I'm pointing over there to show you that that's where the clouds will not be eliminated <laughs> see all the lights going down and under as the sun comes up it gets darker clouds just kind of disappear into the darkness you can see the shadow line where they do disappear into it See how the light's still coming down around this area? See how this is just falling into the dark? Another good example of how the sun is coming up from behind something. All this is staying dark. See how all that? Just go right into the shadow. See all that? This should all be really lit up, and it's not. See how it all just goes right by and right into the shadow? Sun should come up right here. As you can see, it's coming up behind a great big cloud and a great big ball that's illuminating first in the in the sunlight because when you're just thinking that the sun is just starting to come up it's already I mean it's coming out the side of the planet here and you can see how it rolls back over here and now it's way up there and you can see how all the shading is still happening even after the sun goes up out of the frame and no longer interacts with the lens or the housing It still leaves a lot of different places dark. See, that's the shadow coming down from the housing. See how it's still dark? Only a little bit of lights, you know, kind of corridoring down there. And as you can see in the background, the other clouds are moving away from the planet Earth, <laughs> going in a different direction. All, of, all lit up on the bottom, but none of ours are yet. I mean, that's usually the first thing we see light up is the bottom of the clouds, uh, our clouds. Anything up behind our clouds is not really our clouds, especially when they're big and dark and round. Yeah, that's definitely not a cloud. All right, now these clouds over here are coming towards us. Those clouds up there are going away from us, as you can see, going totally different directions. And over here is starting to show the big round, dark blue thing. <laughs> see that? It also has this cast shadow over here from what the sun is going down behind. But the most important part there is this whole area. See how it's shit, the shadow is just sitting there following it. <laughs> Let's go back and look at it one more time. You see that area? There are no such thing as round clouds. And then right up over here, as the sun goes down, you can see how all the green was really shining through. Lots of green. Here's another angle from a different camera in the same location. Get a better kind of sideways look. And that purple great big object is still there as you can see. Blocks the light all the way across the screen. And here's another camera over in I believe Extapa maybe. Oh, can't remember. Anyway, look at our clouds on the bottom and look at all that great big stuff behind it. Look at all that light just going around everything. It 
reflecting off everything. Why? Well, look, look, look along the line there of the clouds. Did you see that? Right there. Look along the line of the clouds. See, the sun already went down. And what's reflecting? Something blue, something else, <laughs> and something else. I would say that's quite a bit. Different angle, same location basically, just a little bit higher view of it. And you can see the sun is going down and it looks like it's just being squeezed in between a whole lot. And we're going to get another look at that as the sun goes down again, just so from a side view. There they are again. See, the sun already went down. We got a lot of green over here to the right. Got some red, which has been in front of the sun pretty much for the last week. Then you got something bigger. See, they're all reflecting light all the way across the water, every one of them. And they're still there even after the sun went down. All right, next location. Sun usually goes down over here, off to the right. As you see below, it's always red, and the sun always goes down behind something that casts a great big shadow. See that? That's something red and a big shadow. That big shadow says it all. Sun was down over there. See it? Now all that red, it's coming out the top of it still. And there it is. Can't, you can't say you didn't see that. I know it went by awful quick. But we're going to go ahead and stop it right there. Can you see that? That is not our sun. That is the red thing that I've pointed out in every other location. See? just sits there with the light coming out of the back from behind it but for the most part it's just sitting there it doesn't move as fast as the sun and yet again we got the light coming down the side and everything over here unless it's covered by clouds is usually dark but when it's not covered by well when it is covered by clouds it reflects quite a bit of light And uh, when I say quite a bit of light, I mean quite a bit of light. There's, you know, there's all that green again. Quite a bit of green. And this is kind of looking north or south, I'm sorry. Looking basically south because the sun goes down off the screen on the right. See all this light still reflecting over here as the sun goes down. There's the red again, big ball in front. And over at the marina, you can see the shadow already starting to happen. So the sun's getting pinched down and going behind the big red thing again. See that? See how it's staying red and all this is over here, it's staying green. But see how the light rounded around something and it's still going around something can't say you didn't see that all right well thanks for watching uh hope that helped please share